Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, good afternoon on this uh, We're well, live and direct on Enter Biafra Channel One, where this uh, gospel and question and answer. Welcome to the question and answer, the lunch break question and answer. This day, the uh, the fifth day of uh, October, two thousand and twenty-one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and good afternoon from here. We are going to be having question and answer. We are going to be having question and answer. And uh, and of course, but before then, before then, let me let me make comment on some of the on some of the uh, developing uh information some of the information that is coming some of this information as they come let me make some kind of uh, comment on that one moment Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining this afternoon. Let me make it very clear that uh, the uh, military invasion of Biafra land is going to be the worst mistake. The, uh, the worst mistake is going to be the worst mistake the governors will do or have done. It is not going to end very well okay the governor of the southeast or the governor of the eastern nigeria they must understand that the invasion of military to come and start killing people will be resisted by biafra people so and i hope that i hope that the governors are ready to take what is to come because it is not going to be business as usual. Biafra people, entire Biafra will rise up against this military invasion of Biafra land. So let it be a record that the governors themselves are bringing destruction to Biafra land and everybody will pay price for it. I want to ask a question. The question you should be asking to everybody, including the governors. You can't end this agitation for Biafra with bullet. You can't end the Biafra agitation with gun. You can't end Biafra agitation with bombs you can't end biafra agitation by force you cannot also continue to force biafra people to stay in nigeria <laughs> it is not by force in fact i want to i want to tell you something today if the governors of the southeast know exactly the mistake they have done in the past. They wouldn't do it again. But it looks like they don't know the mistake they have done in the past. And I will remind them the mistake of the past. I will remind them that the Python dance at Afarauku, the wound have not healed. The wound of Afarauku have not healed. The wound of Mpo Junction killing have not healed. 
the wound of prayer worship or prayer praise and worship killing have not healed the wound are many that have not healed now the question i want to ask the governors what have you learned what have you learned from the python dance python one python dance two crocodile smile egweke and all that what did you learn from that you don't learn nothing did that python dance stop anything <laughs> eh? i want you to i want the governors and the politician to look back before python dance where were ipob i want to ask them the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, the activity of Biafra agitators during the time before, prior to the Python dance. What was the, how do we, how were the IPOB agitating for Biafra? Did they remember? They came with Python dance. Now, one thing you people have to know is that in addition to IPOB, in addition to Mazin and Mikano, in addition to Biafra agitators, there are people that the Nigerian government have murdered their brothers and sisters. They have killed their loved ones, and some of them are on rampage for revenge. And you can't stop them. Some of the people are on rampage to revenge how the Nigeria state killed their loved ones. And I'm just reminding you now that if during, during the op, uh, operation or Python dance, when IPOB have nothing, when IPOB did nothing, when, when uh, IPOB don't even make no noise, when IPOB have not, you know, set up a security outfit to fight the terrorist Fulani Hesmen. They came and they danced the Python dance. They killed our men, killed our young men, butchered them, committed genocide, and nobody talked. Now, what lesson have the governor of the Southeast, Omahi and Co, learned? What did they, have they learned any lesson from the Python dance? <laughs> because from Python dance, we are where we are today. So I want to tell the governors, after this dance that you are going to dance for the next three months in the Southeast, you are going to see more, in fact, you see, you see what you see now. You are going to see worse than ever. And let me tell you, this is going to, this is going to spread across Nigeria, middle belt, everywhere. So if the governors did not learn anything from Python dance, they did not learn anything from Olo massacre. Even when Hopus Odema invited the the uh, the air force, and they use military aircraft to bombard Imo State. They bombarded Imo State, killed our young men, able men, killed our commanders. Did it stop Biafra agitation? The answer is no. Did this stop their fragitation? The answer is no. You see, the governors should know that this Biafra agitation have gone beyond anybody intimidating us with a strike. It has gone beyond anybody intimidating us with tanks. It has gone beyond anybody coming to bring military everywhere. It has gone beyond that. The more military you bring to the southeast, the more fragile 
the zone will become. I want you to make this thing go viral. Tell the governors, the more military present in the Southeast and South South, the more fragile the zone will become. Because the people you have been killing, their brothers and sisters, are not happy. You can't solve this. You can't stop Biafra with bullets and guns. <laughs> you cannot. And if you do not understand this, you will continue to make mistake. This mistake, this mistake you people are making now, you will continue to make that mistake. If you do not, if you do not understand that you can't stop Biafra with guns and bullets, you will continue to make this mistake. You see, you see, the, I want you to go and mark today's date. Eh? Go and mark today's date. This particular military invasion of Biafra land. Now, if the governors know something, now, if the governors, they want to live in peace, they should just make sure now that, that the so proposed three months, whatever military exercise did not hold. Because, <laughs> If this military exercise hold, where Boko Haram are members of the military and they are coming to Southeast, if this military exercise hold for the next three months, they will, they will ever regret, they will ever regret taking that line. They will ever regret following the path of this military exercise. Because you see, Biafra is going to gain sympathy, sympathy, sympathy from even the people that didn't believe in Biafra before. In fact, let me tell you, and the people that are going to fight this military, <laughs> my, my people, I'm telling you now, people will come out to fight the military. And they will fight them teeth to teeth. It is going to happen. Go and mark today's date. The people you never ever believed will come and they will fight the military <laughs> in Biafra land. And they will fight this military and the state, every place will become ungovernable, including almost every part of Biafra land. I am telling you now, this military invasion is the biggest and the worst mistake you can't fight this war with guns and bullets. And again, let me tell you, people say that, uh, eh, how, uh, how can a uh, uh, election not hold in Biafra land? Even in Boko Haram, even in Boko Haram then, they, they had election. You know, these are people, very ignorant people. I have come across a video where people are giving their opinion. So, because you know, when they start making this street opinion, People start to talk, you know. At the same time, they are conditioning your mind. So what is our work? Our work is to also recondition your mind when you come across those kind of fallacies and the opinion of ignorant people. Now, how can somebody be comparing Biafra agitation to what is happening in the northern Nigeria, in the northeast, where election took place, Boko Haram and all that? We are not the same people. We don't fight the same cause. We don't, we don't have the same culture. We don't have the same value system. So how can somebody expect that Boko Haram is fighting in the north so they don't? We are not in the bushes. We are not in the forest. We are in our land and we are not hiding. But Boko Haram is terrorist. We are not terrorists. At least to, only to them, only to the Boko Haram members that call us terrorists. Okay? And we are also calling them terrorists. So the difference between Biafra and what is happening in the Northeast is not is incomparable. In Biafra land, every Biafra want to leave Nigeria. Okay, every Biafra want to leave Nigeria, and we are doing it with everything within our reach, constitutionally, 
legally and otherwise. While in the Boko Haram, they have a different ideology and a different agenda, which is Islamic State. And they want every Western education to be forbidden. It is not our culture to forbid a civilization. It is not our culture. We, our culture is to follow the Western education while Boko Haram culture is not to follow Western education. So these are two opposite things. I don't know why people will be, and some people in the North want to follow Western education. Okay? Some people want to follow Western education. Even those who believe in whatever Boko Haram believe, they don't want to follow Boko Haram. But in Biafra own is that every Biafra, every Biafra want Biafra, want to leave Nigeria, live in Nigeria. Okay? Now, Boko Haram is a terrorist organization recognized all over the world. Very deadly terrorist organization, you know, that have killed thousands and thousands of soldiers, police, and everything. But do you know what? Nigeria government did not designate Boko Haram as a terrorist organization. With all the things that happened, they did not designate Boko Haram as a terrorist organization. Now, they rushed to de declare IPUB, Biafra people, as a terrorist organization without any provocation. As you see, you, you, you watch the president's speech in this 1st of October, okay? President's speech. He was emphasizing on Sunday Igbo who amass in Amdikan. He didn't mention Boko Haram. He didn't say Boko Haram was never a problem because they are now surrendering. And according to the president, Boko Haram, about 8,000 Boko Haram have surrendered. So they are not, uh, it's not their problem, okay? So you cannot compare Biafra and uh, what is happening in the Northeast. Biafra own is that when we come to tell Biafrans, Biafra is that we are uh, educating our Biafra people, educating the world, and they are now enlightened about what is going on. And that is why when we come to tell Biafra people, this is what you are going to do, this is what you are going to do, they are going to do it because they know that everything we are doing is, is a way to leave Nigeria because everybody wants to leave Nigeria. So when we tell Biafra people, no election in Biafra land, they are going to accept because they know that no election in Biafra land will also contribute in facilitating Biafra. Okay? When we tell Biafra people to sit at home, they also know that sitting at home is a sacrifice that they have to make. So sitting at home is also facilitating the emergence of Biafra. They sit at home. Then when you see other people making commentary about you sit at home, how they are killing themselves, how people are not going to school, how children did not write exam and all blah, blah, blah. They are crying more than the brave. When you are fighting for freedom for the future generation, that thing you see today, it doesn't make anything. Some people will say, you don't have infrastructure and they are destroying the one you have and all that. Yes, I did a uh, lunch break live. Let me call you after this. Yeah. So, when you listen to the people making commentary, uh, that uh, why are they why are they saying sit at home? They are the ones suffering it. Are you going to suffer for us in the first place? <laughs> are you going to suffer for us in the first place? When it is time for you to suffer for us, we are going to tell you how you will suffer. Okay, <laughs> we are going to tell you how you are going to suffer for us. So for now, if we sit at home, call it our suffering and say we are suffering ourselves. Okay, we agree. But is it your suffer? Is it your suffer? And as we say, sit at home, the people of Biafra understood very well that anything we are doing, we are doing it with belief that it is for the best interest of the struggle. So Every Biafra complies. Unlike the, the northern Nigeria, where you have where you have all manner of people. This is a completely different thing. So you cannot compare Biafra to, uh, to, uh, to whatever that is going on in the Northeast. But let it be on record that if military invade the Southeast, huh, there is going to be an unending war until Biafra come. It is going to be, you see this three months, <laughs> tell Nigeria army, 
and tell the governors that you see this three months will be a very, very long three months. Very, very long three months. I'm telling you today, it will be a very, very long three months. Very, very long. Very, very long three months. And I pity those that will come to kill our people because we are going to revenge. Anybody the military kill will revenge. Will revenge the killing. Because they have killed us several times. They have been killing us since 1954. They killed and killed. It led to war. We fought the war. The war continued. And this is 2020. We see from our CCTV cameras that how the military, the police are carrying out attacks, burning of the Southeast. But when this invasion happened, as we have come to see, we've seen them deploying a special APC, whatever they call them, um, uh, armored vehicle. None of those vehicles will leave. They will never go back. If they kill Biafra people, if they kill innocent people in Biafra land, no, those vehicles will not go back. It is going to be eye for an eye. Enough is enough. Go to the UN, tell them that I say so. That anybody, any military man that, like what, like the video I showed you, I showed you yesterday from the CCTV, that they killed, they shot one person, killed, and yesterday they killed another young man of 17 years without any provocation. So let them come and invade East and say they want to do one thing or the other. That three months, eh, it is going to be a very long three months. It is going to be a very long. We will give it to them. It will be a long three months. Very, very long. And let me tell you, as this three months is going to be longer, I am saying it now, everybody will pay the price, including the governors. Because they think that they will sit in their office and the military will be going from one street to another to kill people. You think they will be there, you know, they will be comfortable in the office. <laughs> let, let, let us see how that is going to happen. You cannot be comfortable in your office while the military are in the street killing and molesting people. You can you can't you can't be comfortable. Is it not? You are going to see it. Okay, that market you are you have ordered. Uh, it, it, the market has arrived. That market you ordered, the market have arrived. Oh. So when you go and bring the military, let them come. This thing I'm talking now is not uh, that uh, we are talking about 10 years ago. It should be like three months. All right. That three months will be very long for them. I will surprise them. The Afro people will surprise them. This is, we. you see, people should understand we are not fighting for restructuring Nigeria. We are not fighting for Nigeria. We are not fighting for a better Nigeria. I want everybody to understand that what we are fighting for is not for a better Nigeria. We are fighting for complete and the total independence of Biafra uh, Confederation or Biafra Republic. We are not fighting for Nigeria. We are not fighting for um, uh, amenities, if, to better amenities, for better amenities. We are not fighting all those things. The time to fight for it, it has gone. Okay, we are not fighting for good road. Is it not is it good road you want to give us? You can't give us good road. We're not fighting for all those things. What we are fighting for now, we are fighting for survival and we are fighting for the Republic of Biafra, nothing else. So, and in, in getting this Republic of Biafra, since you people don't want to listen, only thing you do from the time immemorial is to bring military, to bring bullet and gun, to bring tanks and bombs, to bring aircraft and everything. We are going to stand shoulder by shoulder. We are going to make sure that you don't find it easy. You can never, ever find it easy in the Southeast. <laughs> and, and, you know, we know now that the governors, they, they don't hear. They are now, okay, let us bring the military. But let me tell you, <laughs> even you, the governor, the time is coming. You are going to flee from Southeast. You will flee. Go and mark it today. You all, all of you will run from Southeast. But you still have the opportunity to not allow that to happen. Let us 
come together and iron this thing out. It is not military. It is not bullet. It is not guns. It is not tax. We have crossed that stage. There is nothing in this life you can bring to Biafra land that is going to move us. Even if you like, go and bring submarine. It cannot move us. If you like, open military base in, in a, a River Niger and bring a ship. What It cannot move us. And it, it seems that you people don't understand what is going on. We have vowed, we swear oath to restore Biafra in this generation. And we are going to restore it. It doesn't matter what it takes us. It doesn't matter what you do. So, but because it is as if that people don't, you people don't understand how serious we are. <laughs> you know, you, you, you don't understand. So I, I'm trying to make you, I know that you may not understand, though, but let me say it for saying sake. <laughs> we are very, very serious. There is nothing you can do. There is no intimidation, no threat, no anything you can do to stop us from fighting for Biafra until we get Biafra. Okay? And the governors, if you think that you bring in military, will, 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 is the, I have given you instances. I have given you instances. Military operation is not the solution. When you operated Python, we were not even like this. The Southeast were not the, in this uh, fragile state. After conducting that Python, what happened? Did the Biafra agitation end? The answer is no. You, contact, you conducted Kurokodai dance. After conducting Kurokodai dance, did he end agitation? The agitation, the answer is no. You also make sure that uh, the, in the entire eastern Nigeria, every 50 kilometers, every 50 meters, you have military checkpoint. Did he stop Biafra agitation? The answer is no. You started by abducting Biafra people that have ordinary handband about Biafra. You started arresting people and kidnapping people that, all, that only talk, discuss Biafra in the buses. Did this stop us? Did this stop Biafra? The answer is no. The only thing is that you're going to take a few weeks. Your, your, your antics is going to last for a few weeks. That is the end. Okay? You started kidnapping in Obibo. Did this stop Biafra? The answer is no. Did this stop Biafra activity in Obibo? The answer is no. Because Obibu is very strong. It's very strong. You started killing people in Imo State. After killing people in Imo State, did this stop Biafra agitation in Imo State? The answer is no. Did this stop some people from using uh, unknown government in Imo State? The answer is no. Did this stop uh, the unknown government from attacking in Imo State? The answer is no. So why do you want to go there again? for another military exercise. When we are now ripe like mango, eh? this is a worse mistake. Because every time you bring military to Biafra land and conduct military exercise, the situation has always gone worse after that. So if you can imagine where you are now, what is happening now, and then you feel so bad about it, my brother, immediately after this military exercise or even during this military exercise what you see now we catapult to more time stand is that what you want all right the floor is yours bring them let them come to our land and kill our people but i want everybody to remember this video i made today the fifth day of october 2021 warning the governors ahead of time that the military invasion of Biafra land is going to be the worst mistake they have made ever. And of course, to them, because to us, it's not a mistake. Okay? It's not a mistake. We will fight to finish. We will fight to finish. And let me tell you, <laughs> for people who will say, uh, you know, <laughs> well, we are going to see. I have delivered the message. The message is that it can't stop, bullet and gun cannot stop the agitation for Biafra. And so for those who want to join question and answer, I will give you a few minutes, question and answer. This is my, I have 30 minutes to go because I have one hour lunch. 
and that launch and I use it to do my program. So uh, uh, I have uh, 30 minutes for question and answer. So if you have question, if you have any question uh, that you that bothers you, uh, you know, or that you need the answer, I may not be able to answer every question, but I will attempt. I will attempt all your question, at least. I will attempt. I will attempt all your question. So here is the link. Watching from Enter Biafra Channel One. If you are watching this program, go and hit the like button so that other people will have the opportunity to join us. So we are waiting. If you want to join, join and ask your question and let us see if we can address it. Welcome to the program, UK. Good afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good morning over here, Maze. Good morning. Yeah, thank you for this exposition. You know, the zoo, they will keep on making mistakes. But at the at the at the end, Biafra is already here. We already restored Biafra, so no going back. No matter what they bring, you know, at least they can take the example of uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. You know, I think America they fought over twenty years upon all yeah. the money, everything sink. So that's how it's gonna sink. You can never their power can never overpower the people's power. Never. The land belongs to Biafra people. Never. The land does not belong to Fulani. That is Igbo land. An Igbo law must come to stay. You know, we are not losing anything. You know, all those things is, is our own advantage. So we already win the war. Exactly. That is my. That is it. Thank you, Mazen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining. All right. This is a very good comment. I want this kind of comment not too long, just sharp, and that's it. That's the way to go. Um, Chine Du, who is the next? Mercy Anosike. Mercy Anosike. Good afternoon from here. Mercy Anosike disappeared. Aka Olisa Naemeka, welcome to the program. Aka Olisa, this is your, this is your, this your, this is your, this is this is dark, I can, and I cannot hear you. Your voice is, uh, is cutting, you know, it's not, uh, I can't hear you at all. All right, Sandra and uh, Kenisha, brief. Welcome Good to the program. Good afternoon, Sir Mazi. Thank you Good very afternoon. much. I want to ask you one thing, eh? please. Don't be angry with me. Oh. But not don't like you a, not, don't you sleep at like night. Long, uh, not like a long uh, comment like yesterday. Go no, ahead. no, 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 sir. No, sir. I want to ask, how do you manage to, you know, to keep on your feet? <laughs> how do I manage I... to keep on my feet? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord is your strength, sir. The Lord is your strength, eh? <laughs> how? <laughs> you mean, See, you eh? mean I, I, didn't, I don't understand the question. <laughs> I mean, how do you, because every day you come online. Last night yeah. you were still online and you said uh, you wouldn't take time. And you just, uh, you know, I believe you have passion in this thing you're doing. You took yeah. you more time. And today again, you're still at work. Instead of to, you know, have your break, I saw you eating. You understand? So you're eating right now. Instead of you to just, you know, concentrate and uh, maybe relax, have some some sleep a bit at the office, maybe 20 minutes, you're still online just for us to be okay. That's what I mean. Yes. Well, you know you know that uh, I don't even know how I do it. I must be very sincere. Um, yeah. Um, I honestly, sometimes I used to think that I spent like 70 hours every day. Oh, you know, <laughs> this is your strength. Yes, eh? you know, every day is 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, from my calculation, I may be spending 74 hours. That's it, eh? you are really, you are really a strong man. You are very strong. <laughs> well, I know, I know that uh, God, God trained me for this particular time to come. That you know? I, I believe. If everybody did not believe this on me particularly, I believe that you were really born for this struggle. You were born for this struggle together with Mazenam the Kano. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate. You, I appreciate. Thank you, sir. See, eh? what I want to chip in here is. You know, you know, our governors think, eh? They think um maybe Biafrans are joking. They think we are really joking in this struggle. Because if not for the maybe I realized the other time they said they slapped um 
uh, uh, he went to India to cure himself. They said spirit slapped him. You know that these mm. people do, they believe in their juju. They think mm. that the juju will save them when the time comes. Mm. You understand? I believe that this very time that the, their juju will not save them now. Their juju will not save them. They should just better wake up from their sleep before it gets mm. too late. Really? Biafra are not joking. Yes. Thank you very much, Mavi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring you Osas. Osas, uh, good afternoon from here. Good afternoon from here, Osas. Good afternoon. Yes, welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you very much, sir. God is your strength. God bless you, you, sir. Thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah. uh, sir, there's a question I want to ask uh, concerning this, uh, you know, I, I can see that uh, this uh, ministry uh, strike is not for Boko Haram, it's for us, you know. So I don't know how, how people are in that aspect because uh, that is what I'm really looking at and that is what, why the, the, the Janjaoui government went to uh, request this uh, military power and all that. Mm. So, and uh, that is uh, really my, what I'm looking at. It's not my worry anyway, but I'm looking at that area. So I don't know how uh, you leaders, how, uh, how uh, prepared you are in that aspect. You know, what arrangements uh, you are put in place in that aspect? Because we need to be ready in every aspect. We don't, we don't need to give this people any chance. Because when they have any chance, they will keep operating in that chance. You understand me? So we don't need to give them any chance and all that. When we when we when we get when we get to the when we get to that bridge, we are going to cross it. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I understand you, sir. Yeah, we, will, we will cross that bridge. I understand you, sir. Thank you, sir. I understand. Thank that you, is sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Right, Ifani, welcome to the program. Good afternoon from here. Good afternoon from here. Ifan is not talking. Mazi Mora, Omora, welcome to the program. Good afternoon, my brother. Can you hear me? Good, af good afternoon from here. Good afternoon. I hope I'm coming out loud. Yes, I'm hearing you loud and clear. Right. Uh, the of the Afro land is doing is uh, there's nothing to be compared with it. The only person who grew the only who Jesus Christ. Why would everything yet teach to be a poor, poor man for the sake of the people? Uh, some people na they are this and and they no longer on this that and so is a prince is a king yet he abandoned those things to come and fight for the poor. Even though you know the people, the people planned the connect to crucify. Jesus Christ. But I'm encouraging you and I will continue the work you're doing for us. I love you all. So, and uh, also, so I want to use this to encourage our media warriors. I, I pray that God will strengthen them all the more because this time is the main time we need their service. We need service more this time because the enemy is working tirelessly to see. Yes, your voice is really breaking, very, very breaking, and uh, and uh, it is not uh, nobody's. In. Am I? Am I? Can you check your mic? Can you check your mic? Can you check your? Can you check your mic? Your voice is breaking so bad. Messi Anosike, welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Hello, hello. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day hello. from here. Yeah, 
Thank you very much for the good work you are doing. Eh? We are all seeing it. We are all seeing it. You are really doing a Thank great job. Much. Thank you very much. Yeah, God bless you, sir. Uh, please, uh, <clears throat> all these things happening in Biafra land, uh, you know, uh, anybody that is a human being that breaks will know that we are being cheated in Nigeria and uh, all these killings is getting too much there. Yeah? And uh, I'm just asking, should we keep on sitting and uh, continue watching these people to continue killing us? They have, I've not seen this type of thing in their place that military will go there, police will start shooting people anyhow, but we are the half power is in Biafra land. Our leaders are so stupid that they can't do anything and they are supporting them to kill us. Mm. So should we keep on sitting down and watching these people? So this, this is my question. Sometimes I will sit down like this. How, how will people, how would they be killing us like uh, as in animals? Mm. That even that we don't we do, we don't have value, so mm. I don't know. So you people should please know what to do. I don't know to put you know this that, uh, yeah, you know, you, you know, yeah, you know yeah. that uh, it is uh, it is not just about us. <laughs> the people that are fighting the leaders are not uh, just Biafra. Even the Nigeria people are fighting them. So so the exactly. the enemy. Uh, so the enemy is around them, you know, uh, and uh, I believe that uh, uh, we are, as we are not happy, even those who are Nigerians are not even more are even more angry than uh, than we are to these uh, exactly. to those political leaders. Uh, uh, so we'll be watching them, and uh, at the due time, uh, we'll send the message. But for now, we'll be watching them. We'll be watching them, but uh, you know, I don't think that this is going to last long because the Nigeria people. Those who are the Nigeria people, they are the evil one, very, very wicked people. So they will be the one to be dealing with them. Yeah, our own is to focus on how to get this Biafra. And uh, getting Biafra is that we're going to turn every stone. Uh -huh. But these are our leaders who, instead of, uh, instead of uh, uh, going, uh, going for Biafra or trying to protect our land, they, do, they rather bring military and all that. So it is the same military that they are bringing that is going to kill them. Because uh, exactly. when, they, when this military come and they are not uh, satisfied with what they see or they see something different from what the governor tell them, they are going to be looking after the you know going for after the governor. Uh -huh. That is how they do. So anybody who sabotages his people, they can never trust them. Okay. So most of them, mm. most of them, this Nigeria mm. will kill them. The same Nigeria, they have killed a lot of people who work for them at the end of the day. Okay. Is he not the uh, doctor uh, 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 Malafia? Did he not serve Nigeria up to a deputy uh, governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria? Did they not kill him? Uh -huh. They poisoned him. Did they, did they not kill uh, um, Dora Akunye? Dora Akunye was, uh, was, uh, was uh, 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 the woman that saved Nigeria then by announcing, uh, you know, by blowing the whistle of the death of. Uh, of uh, of uh, Yaradua, what what happened to her? They killed her, and now what? And they didn't forget that because that was a very big setback for Northern Nigeria. You know, mm. they targeted the husband. Did they not kill the husband? They killed the husband in uh, in uh, in Anambra. Uh, so so hey. the thing is that the thing is that all these leaders you see today, <laughs> we don't even have time for them. The people that will kill them are the Nigeria people they serve. At the end of the day. So, exactly. my sister, that is how it is going to be. We will focus on Biafra and allow them, them the devil and devil, to deal with each other. <laughs> hey, and another thing is, so is we have to keep on telling the people back home. Let them, if if they comes like this, let, let everyone go inside because all this killing, uh, the thing, I, I don't know. I, in fact, I I'm not feeling okay when I'm seeing all this. Uh, all these calls as in everywhere shooting people people are dying like uh, i've never seen this kind of thing before look mm. at here we are we, it's hardly you see army outside it's hardly you see it's, it's just police that you will see police even no matter anything you do it's hardly they shoot you yeah but here in nigeria i don't know i don't know sir the thing is too much that is I, as in a, oh god in fact it's well Thank you, thank, very you much. Much. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I have, uh, I have. Uh, is it fifteen minutes more from my break to go? 
So we're gonna have something. Our secretary, do you want to talk or you want to stay behind behind the scene? <laughs> Secretary, all the way from uh, Dubai. Welcome to the program. <laughs> you are not talking, no. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. So my mic was there. Uh huh. My mic was off. Your mic was off. My okay. mic. Yeah, yeah. All the way for the Arab Emirates. Yes, welcome yeah. to the program. There's, the way there's no more thing. No, the Calvo is not perfect, but he did so many things. People started hearing him. So, and when you mean that, what is Just do as the spirit lead you. Forget about what people are saying. Do as the spirit. Thank you very much. So keep moving. Keep moving. Thank you very much. Any day I want to. I will, I will tell you stop today. I don't want to talk. Just keep moving. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to bring... Uh, we're going to bring... Uh, Ogene. Ogene, welcome to the program. Ogene, good afternoon from here. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Okay, Ogena is not talking. So we're gonna bring uh, NCBD. NCBD, good afternoon from here. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Can, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you live and direct. Right. Welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. So I just wanted to say, uh, like you said, this uh, military operation that they want to bring in our place, this is, I think it's a, it's a very big mistake. It's a very, very big mistake because the timing, everything, this is the time when people are on edge, yes. where people are, are fed up. Mm. And uh, this can be like a trigger to something that... Um, they, they, they never see you know they've not seen coming especially the 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 so-called southeast leaders exactly you know? so and uh i feel like uh, this is the time for them to be very wise and this is not like before where they will just come and do the uh, python dance and go away yeah. and they think uh, things will uh, remain uh, the same so yeah. this is the time where anything that happens now will trigger something that will be so hard for people to recover unless you know the only recovering will just be that biafra that they that they are trying to suppress will just come by itself yes. so and uh they should they should also understand you know the problem with these people is that many of them are, i think the, their system is is a cowardly system whereby they will come and leave the men that they are supposed to fight and start going to attacks of uh, targets and uh, maybe even harmless people on the streets, women, children, and all that. So yes. our people also need to be careful. Uh, this time, people should know how they move, and people should know when to be indoors, and people should, uh, because let's see if they will go to the houses and bring people out to, 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 to kill. Yes. But I wish they understand that right now, this is the wrong time, this is the wrongest time to bring any kind of military action in the Southeast. This is the very wrong time. People are on edge, and this can be a trigger. Unless, if like, like what uh, Mazinam the Kano have been saying, and I feel like that is what is going to happen right now. These people have really come for you know the war. I think they really want that war. And like what the last, the other caller said, this uh, Tokano craft that they are bringing, obvious. It's now obvious that it was just a disguise that they want to use it for Boko Haram. Mm. This thing, uh, yeah, it's just a disguise, but. They don't know, uh, they, they, they probably think they have everything figured out, but they don't know the will of the people is at, you know, is at the highest right now. And uh, we should all just be careful. We should be careful, but our people should know the so-called leaders, the so-called uh, Southeast politicians or whatever they are, even the Oanese, everybody should know now that 
bringing, allowing the military or supporting them to come in is just bringing Biafra. Yes. Yeah, it's just bringing Biafra. So that's what I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is a fact. That is yeah, a and fact. The, uh, I hope, and hope they don't complain when the, when the show starts. Yes, I hope they don't complain. Imagine Simon, let me add one thing. Let me just make this very brief. And uh, this is just like I'm appealing to our people. Uh, let us all, it, it has nothing to be, uh, do with uh, being tribal or anything. We must all learn to, uh, to stand for each other. Because we've seen where we are. We've seen the things that we are going through. Let our people everywhere, no matter no matter what you feel like uh, your brother or someone from you know, your, your tribe has done to you, you should be able to let us look after each other. Let us look after each other. Let us support each other. No matter what a disagreement we may, we may have uh, inside, we mm. should make sure that we stand for each other because what we are facing in that country, uh, be fighting among ourselves or having these things about among ourselves in the open, is going to make it worse for us. So let us learn to always stand for each other. It has nothing to do with being tribal. It's because of the kind of situation we find ourselves. We must stand for ourselves, just like the way the 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 the, 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 the Jews are standing for themselves. If they if the Jews did not stand for themselves by now, they would have been wiped out. But they knew that they they knew that they were on their own. They knew that people uh, don't want to see them. They knew they knew that they are you know everybody want them out of the face of the earth. So you find that they all came together and everything they do, they do for the good of their people. So that's why they are so strong to the extent that right now there is something called anti-Semitism laws whereby if you say something against them, you can even pay for it with uh, your career or even uh, your freedom. So we must uh, also know that we are in that kind of situation and we must stand for ourselves at all times. We must move uh, as a people. And most especially, all these people that are coming out talking about uh, uh, activity, you know, like people like this, Joey Bukwe and the rest, those are the kind of people that we should, uh, I'm not calling for any violence towards them, but we should be always ready to shut them uh, down because those are, those, are internal, uh, those are internal enemies that we have, you know. So we, are, we must move as one, we must move as a group, we must know that uh, the, there's no one that loves us now more than the way we love ourselves. And the coming of the military in the south is is just like a trigger for something that uh, that you know that they will be so shocked. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. That is that is a very up advice. You know, the, your advice is very up, and uh, people should head to this advice. We are going to we are going to be creating a very serious awareness and uh, to guide our people how to behave, you know, when to, you know, how to be moving, so to avoid them, avoid the, being a victim of these uh, terrorists that are now, that are coming to the Southeast. As uh, I know that, uh, I know that uh, they are going to face a very big surprise. Thank you very much. All right. Um, um, I wanna bring you, I have more, seven minutes more to go. Nero, welcome to the program. Good afternoon from here. Good afternoon from here, Nero. Good afternoon. Nero is not talking. All right, Prince Terry, welcome to the program. Yeah, hello. Yes, good afternoon from here. Can you hear me, um, um, Simon Ekman? I can hear you. Please go ahead. I have seven minutes more to what, go. What I want, to, what I want to tell your people is that um, actually I'm a Yoruba guy, but I find your program very interesting. But your your mm -hmm. people, I don't know why they don't understand that um, the issue of uh, rigging of election cannot be stopped in Nigeria. Yes. The reason why they have to hand Nigeria number one and number yes. two. You remember that they open up their all their borders. Mm. for their brothers to come and be voting for them. That was why that stupid man was talking last time that uh, they have the numbers. Which number do they mm. have? Yes. Children are voting in the north. It's mm. allowed in Nigerian election. And most of your uh, governors, your politicians, I believe, they know if Biafran comes, they cannot be able to do all these criminal ac activities like a uh, rigging of mm. election. Yes. I, 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 it's part of the reason why they refuse to support uh, Nam Dikano in this mm. in, in this position. So I believe your people should be able to understand this that it cannot it cannot be possible 
Wazo Bia, we were taught Wazo Bia when we were in school. Not Wafu Bia. Not Wafu Bia, exactly. It was, it was Wazo Bia. Mm. Now, now the demography, the demography has changed. What I mean. The demography, they have changed the demography. It is no longer Wazubia. It is not even a Wafobia. It, is, it, it doesn't you know, have a name. I'm, I'm, I'm 50. As I, it's what's who? How did we come here? Come to the come to be here. Mm. Come. People should wake up. They should be able to wake up. Thank the you. longer they are waiting, we are they are just wasting time by parambulating with this election. The Anambra, the way they are organizing, uh, uh, there are some guys they are telling me that there is crowd, there is this, they can there is nothing they can do. As Aso Rock has been hypnotized only to yes. be fit, only the Fulanese. There is Juju there. Mm. If they can bring uh, 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 if they can bring our, our capital back to the West, then maybe we can be able to do a, a cleansing. Rainigu, they call it Rainigu in Deutschland. Mm. They can clean all those uh, mm. spiritual whatever they put. Look at uh, we have a son, pastor, professor, eh? Osibajo. Mm -hmm. Since he is in office, <laughs> what has he done for the South? Nothing. Nothing. It's only mm. Hundred Tunumbu, hundred uh, uh, good luck in Aso Rock. Eh? They can't change anything. It's like it's like pouring water in a basket. I'm telling, I'm telling you, my brother, you understand. They need to okay. know this. They need to go and know this. No mm. matter, no, they, if they gather all the eh, the gurus in the south to be in Aso Rock, eh, nothing, mm. they will, the Kabas will never allow them to do anything. Exactly. People should come back home. Thank exactly. you for all your efforts. Thank Don't you very much, my brother. No matter what we, the next phase, the next phase we are going to now is to also uh, make our, our brothers from your side, everybody to yeah. understand the importance of sit at home. You know, see this. You can imagine home. I talk with uh, talk, maybe you talk with uh, my uh, this guy. Uh, yes, yes, we are, yes, I will be, yes. Yeah, we are going to we are going to be doing that. Relate you know, with my good general to do yeah. something about it. See, mm. there are some of we Yoruba who know the right thing to do. I see no reason why that uh, Tunubu cannot go and uh, repent. Uh, mm. I said Tunubu should repent. Uh, release uh, 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 stolen money if there is any. He should rehabilitate his boys and join the moving train with Akitoye and let's move on to save our people from modern slavery. We are in all the activity that is going on right now is just like modern slavery, conniving with the British. Hmm. I see. I see. All right. Thank you very I much. Uh, for you joining us. Thank you. Yeah, I also thank you for the great work you are doing. I really Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And you too. All right. Uh, we are going to have probably the last person because I have two hours and I'm going to bring, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to bring two persons that have their videos on. I'm going to bring Eze, Chigozie, and Henry Ibabuchi. Any other person that bring video on will not come. These two persons, I will give you, please, one, one minute. Uh, Eze, Chigozie, welcome to the program. Hello, my able comrades. <laughs> Good afternoon from here. Yeah, it's been it's been long, you know. I've been I've been I'm the one that always started with you in this program when you started. You know, if you remember, I called you privately. Wow. wow. I told wow. you that any day you are ready, we move. Exactly. Mazi, there's one thing I want to like. I want to thank you so much for because. I've learned a lot of things from you, believe me, a lot of things from you, because I just want to tell my Biafran brothers all over the world today, if you know you can do better than Master Simon Ekwa, please take the seat. Hmm. If you know, Master Simon, Master Nadekalu say 100 men, hmm. and anybody that is challenging what you could have given to us, if you know you can do consistency of what Mazi. Simon Ekman is doing, please will follow you. Hmm. Because any man that comes to 45 minutes of his program talking about what is gossip is not a man. 
because I know what it means that, brother, Mazi, you finished your program around uh, uh, almost 2 o'clock yesterday. And where are they? They are sleeping. But I was in your program around 2 o'clock yesterday. So <laughs> if they can do better than you, please. It's 100 men our onion do beg us for. And we are seeing only one man. Yeah, we are many. <laughs> no, bros, there's what they call consistency. Mm. This is what the, the foundation man's in and the Kalu lay for also consistency. Mm. And I know what is consistency because you are a proof of consistency. Mm. Because somebody asked you the question today, say, Man, say, how are you sleeping? Me, same thing. I'm asking myself, how this man who God go short? He say, God, if God be for you, nobody can be against you because but the strength. But you, but you watch my program and you are still here watching. Yeah, why I'm watching because I'm you are my you are my mentor. But you see, that's that means you are doing what I'm doing too. Yeah, no, but <laughs> the different the difference between me and you is because any of them can they come to my uh, can they come to your program and prove to you that Mazi in this struggle I've never seen great men in your program that that they can be in their own program. Do you <laughs> know how many people come from diaspora? Who is the, the lawyer of Onyendu? Is talking to you from the United States and uh, from the United uh, yeah, America. Yes. How many people come to your program? The program in, in Kenya, you are there. Anybody I want to talk with you, you are there. Yeah. And you are uh, you are you are not the kind of person that insult people, you lecture people. Thank so you. I am part of your I, I told you that listen, there's one thing I want to add. Monyendu, I showed my face because I'm doing program also. Mazi, we need great men from this europe here i am among i'm among one of them very strong i'm not i'm not afraid i speak yoruba i speak Hausa. i live in the north i know this thing they are doing i've been privileged to meet uh what they call his name uh mustafa in Krikri yard with maurice Ibegwe before he passed away in ade bendel i go i know what i'm talking i speak yoruba i live in yoruba land born there in lagos so when you come to abuja I know Abuja, I know the North. I can tell you more about the Northern people. Fulani people, what they call them in Abuja is Agwe. They live in the forest. You understand me now? So there's one problem that we have to understand. And what is that problem? Our problem is in Biafra land. You understand me? So we need men. Mazik, put me among that man that is ready to march any day to Biafra land. I am not telling you that I'm joking. That's why you see, see my face here. I am not hiding it. I don't believe on... People can participate on their social media, no problem. But there are great men that is on the ground that are ready to wait for your call when they say, how many of us are ready to march to Biafra land? My name is Masi Chigozi Henry, and I'm Atom Madojo. I am ready to go there. If I die for this struggle, eh, that is the greatest thing I have achieved before mankind. Because the intimidation these people have been putting us... 1999, Ojuku came to trade fair, was there. Because we used to sell motopass in Abuja, in a poor village. 1999, when Ojuku opened trade, also Bololeka Hege Ojuku left there 30 minutes with anger. I will never forget that one. I left from Maza Maza to Abuja that day. You understand me? So, this something, you know, this Biafra thing have not been bearing fruit like this. But I took my time 2016 to listen to Maza Nande Kalo because I was devastated. So, when I start following you, is when you, when you started this, your program, you used to, I start following you. Man, there is nobody like you in this, apart from us in I am not joking. I am not joking. So you need to recruit soldiers like me more. Bro, I can come to Finland and meet you. Brother, you can recruit us more soldiers. Because we need it. Because we have to take the bull by the horn. Because this social media, they think we are joking. If we have not knocked into the door of the people who sold us out since, since, since I was born to today, since I was born today, we have been suffering. 1996, when I enter Abuja, we are the Igbo people that develop Abuja from area one to Garikivle, to Nyanya, to Maraba, to... I will call the whole Abuja for you. So anybody that want to doubt me, I will prove it to him. We Igbo people, we are blessed people. But one thing that we have problem today, the problem is in Biafra land. All the people represented of in National Assembly, what have they done? All the allocation money they gave to them, where is the proof of the allocation money? Where is the proof? So what are they preaching? Mm. What are they preaching? We don't need to talk about... My mama today never entered train because of waiting. The same problem. Mm. I went to Nigeria. Second Niger brings six years. They have not finished it. If you go to Niger uh, uh, 
bridge of Nigeria, the east to come to the east. Brother, that bridge very soon you go follow. Hmm. I am not joking. You know that some people go to Nigeria to go and do Oringo. I don't go to Nigeria, to Biafra land to do Oringo. <laughs> Brother, I am I, I they cry. Oh Ask me Ibo Weze. Hmm. One day now we now we develop Lagos. Come to First Tack. Come to Ikeja. Na Ibo people. Come to Abuja. The same I say I enter Abuja 1996. I got close to Nikon Nogan. You see Ezego Plaza. Come to Abuja now. They sell Beijing Martin. What I sell in Abuja is Moto Square Park, New Park, Napo Village, Aero Five. That is the, the governor of Kaduna State. Now he destroyed most of our eight houses in Apo Village. Aero Five when he was a minister of House Assembly in Abuja. Hmm. Then I was privileged when I was in uh, uh, in, in trade fair in Lagos. Ojuku came to open there in 1999. He was very, very angry. He said, Why don't you bring this business to it? You see, the problem we are suffering to today, I don't want to blame even the Fulani people, because if you don't open your door, criminal no go come inside. Now, our elite governors, and the people they say they represent is in Dibu. If you remember the the, the the early days, anybody that is representing like the, the governors, you don't talk to is in Dibu anyhow. If you can remember that time, Amadion had dead there, all the Shuram dead there, but now the Bible is not working, the Quran is not working because if they take you to the Shuram, you knock them for granted two times or three times, you don't go talk nonsense, you can sleep, you don't go wake up again. They have made us to look like we are not worshipping Chuko Kabioma, but this new generation of Biafra, I pity for them, I pity for their children. I'm telling you, they, they don't know the damage and the weakness. The, the, the kind of evil they have sold and they will repeat. Thank you so much. Let me leave my fellow comrade to speak there. Thank you very much. You have chopped, you have chopped almost eight minutes. <laughs> but I like it. You are you are you are you are a very nice, uh, very nice person. We always keep in touch, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm uh, Ibe Ibe Mazi Mazi Ekelem go as a nkonya name ya me she can ki name to go kiabama no no yegi. Thank you. My time for sorry, I'm going to I'm I'm going to leave you to go to lunch. All just all I want to say is no, no, that all not all not can no I need to go back. Okay, okay. Okay. Yem choi yem choi ah they would that na eh anyway I'm again your program yesterday. I listened to your program yesterday. And uh, when you said uh, these people are, uh, they are coming now. Uh, they are coming now. Why are they coming now? So I want to remind you that, do you remember that Obadiah Melafi has said that in 2022, these people are planning to start the war by 2022. <laughs> so for me, that, that they are coming in October, for me, it's the plan for 2022. Mm. So okay. we have to assume, we have to assume that this is their coming for 2022 and yes. like you said like you said you we we being prepared that these three months is going to last more than three months you said it and i mm. saw it in another way so let's be prepared for their 2022 they are all here now and uh, me I, I live i live in sweden i have four children already so <laughs> any day any day we say okay it's time to go Mazi. Let's go. Thank you very much. We know them. Nguana, Dalusa, Dalusa. Thank you. Yeah, mama. All right, thank you. Bye. All right, I'll get you. They want to scatter everywhere, ba. Ross, I want to shake the table small. You know that stand. You want to shake the table? Okay. I want to keep going. I want to shake the. I want to shake the table small. You know, me I even they see and saying that they. That bomber jet where they carry go now, devil might the first use that they shoot to. Now what is? I said that bo that fighter jet where they carry they go south east. Now okay. devil might I the bullets where meet. <laughs> that's so. That's so. That's so. <laughs> that's so. Now, de now devil might if I meet now I see one fly come out now they shoot and come back take over the government half on hand. That's so, so we don't need to we don't need to the fear about all those our leader talk this thing say. Before 2021, things will happen. And these people are going to come. And that is why 
he give us a 150 days prayer from Sam. And he never finished. He talked and said, before the prayer fasting will finish, different things will happen. These people, they are desperate to do anything on doing. If you watch the video where you show yesterday where they could shoot that guy down, mm. those people were pilot that vehicle. No people, none of them are full any um full any drivers. If you watch the way that they drive that hulos, you will not say they know Sabi driving you know, that the driver like saying that they see the you see the distance where they give themselves. Mm -hmm. So that the driver like saying that desert night that they say man, anything can happen. You understand? So my own is that uh, they give good. You understand? That's why you move do it. Agree. But you go, they go good. When you move it, that's why you go good. Exactly. So we. I really forgot about the. I never will. I never will be with me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Me amar. Uh huh. That is why. That is why I'm just doing. I'm just doing. That this thing. So go. Hello, good inside. Mm. It's, yeah, that's by the card in this first a walk in. So, um, Basian, okay, no problem. When you were there, they nah, this thing I did. So, mm. Basian, uh, um, those guys that make that video, who's not the top? Mm. Oh, I know, I'm on. I feel what I know. Mm. Oh, you made that video, she's not the top. That's all great for everyone. Go for a long way, that. Yeah, yes, what yeah, I know. Come on. <laughs> Uh, but ever talk ever talk the way she woofu because the woofu we go for now but we feel full full. Ah, what? Any injury? Eh, that waro. Eh, that waro. Tongo that can get us again now. If that was, if I if I cry, you can't do shit. Ah, come on, ta. Mo, mo, I'm not going to shake you. I'm not going to shake you. Eh, that's my. Oh, God, don't fall. Oh, actually, I'm not going to shake you. I'm going to shake you. I'm bad, no. Big job, one. Oh no! <laughs> Don't worry, my brother. I I get I get married. I get married. I'm out of time. I will lead after. Yes. Yes. I will lead after. And if you really make a move, because I'm not sure. That thing. That thing I will lead after. That thing I will lead after. No, so no. Eku kwa, eku kwa. Never a job, never a job. Never a job, never a job, never a job, never a job. Because I'm mad. This 2021 is going to be. Yes. And um, mm -hmm. all the all the songs for the poor people are for good. Both the rich and the big are for good. Mm. What are now? Both the rich. If I if I can if I if I can maybe that program is at so if I can at so can they drag can they drag na can they drag na? Out out there, out there, out out there. I'm because I'm that man. Tell him, tell him. Uh huh. Out there, who she so Mary Bon Kanya? What a man! I knew Mary Bon. I don't know. I don't know that guy does it. We will never fall on the road, bro. We never fall on the road. Is it? Is it? Ah, I knew you from this land, bro. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, you are going to continue, bro. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. I know a lot of people are laughing. You man ka, you man kozo. You man ka, you man kozo. Eh? Thank you very much for watching. I'm already late, uh, 13 minutes late, but I'm gonna cover up, so it's not a problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the evening. We are gonna be back. And again, I am saying it again that our app is ready. Everybody have just witnessed what happened yesterday. Facebook went off, WhatsApp went off, uh, this uh, Instagram went off, everything shut down yesterday, and people were running head task. Now think about it. What if you, if actually that you wake up one day and this thing shut down completely, what are you going to do? All of you tested it, you know? That is why it is very important. We have our own. We have our own social media. It is there, and people are using it already, and it has not been announced officially. Our leader will announce it. Now, that is the reason why we have Enter Biafra live streaming app, because we are thinking ahead, ahead of all these things that is happening. We want to be ahead. That is how people, uh, nations are uh, innovative. When you are, inno when you are an innovative nation, 
you move ahead of others. So you think ahead of others. That is what Biafra will do. And that is why I begin immediately, I begin to look into having a, 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 our own social media app, our own app, our own independent, this independent that, and you see the impact of it because any day they are going to shut us down. We, you know, that is it. We cannot start from that time to build a community. So now that we have access to Facebook, we have access to Twitter, we have access to Instagram, we have access to everywhere. Once this app is out, you make sure you share it everywhere. Let, let us use the access we have from other application, from other app to make our people to start to use it. This one you are using, it's not our own. It's, it is not owned by Biafra, okay? So there is nothing wrong by somebody having something that will also be of use to Biafra struggle and at the same time is coming from a Biafra person. So any day it's shut down, we know that we will, know, we will explain what happened, why it is shut down. Our live streaming app is ready and it is ready and it is ready to go. So are we and may release it to the end to the uh, telegram, like I said, in maybe any moment from now, yeah, any moment from now, once I, I hear that go ahead from the IT uh, technicians, I will just put, post it and I want people to download it. And it is on uh, iOS and the and Android. So we are we are coming fully with full force. You'll be watching our program on iOS. You'll be watching our program on Android. So there is no point. You know, you don't need to go just download the app. Everything in Enter Biafra is there. So you don't need to, you know, have problem anymore. Once you download it, you are going to have access to everything in Enter Biafra. The channel one, Enter Biafra live broadcasting. You, once we are live, you click on it. That's it. You'll be watching it. You'll be getting everything, both article, both everything, news, whatever. It is in the app. That's a way to go. So thank you very much for, for being this part, uh, being part of this uh, program today. We continue in the evening. See you very much. Thank you very much. See you in the evening. I love you. May God bless Biafra. May God bless Ududuwa. May God bless Middle Belt. May God bless Amazonians. May God bless Mazin May God bless APOV Worldwide. May God bless ESN, Sunday Iboho, and Co. May God bless all of you. Afternoon from here. Bye.